it's all right. 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 Don't let you know that just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. It's all 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 right. Don't let you know that just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Well, welcome in, everybody, and Happy New Year's to you. I plan to turn 57 years old here in a couple of months in the new year, and that means I will have lived almost 21,000 days. If I live out my normal life expectancy, which there's no guarantee that I will, that means I've got about 9,000 days left to go upon this earth. As I think about all the days of my life, they're all important to me, but there are some that stand out. Certain anniversaries and birthdays, the day I obeyed the gospel, the days I got to baptize my children into Christ. There are few days that are more important than others. But as I think about all the days of my life and all the days that I anticipate in the future, there are two that are of premium importance to me. The two most important days in my life are this day and that day. What I mean by this day is today. These are the two most important days in your life, this day and that day, starting with this day, which is today. One of the two most important days in your life is today, not yesterday, because yesterday has come and gone and we can't get it back. Paul said in Philippians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14, Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Jesus himself said, Seek first the kingdom of God, and don't be anxious about anything, especially don't be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Not only is yesterday not important to me, but tomorrow is not important to me. 
because there's no guarantee I'll see tomorrow and there's no way that I can take care of the concerns of tomorrow today. Tomorrow is not yet. One of the most important days in your life is this day, today, not yesterday and not tomorrow. The other day of premium importance to me and to you is that day. And what I mean by that day is judgment day. The day that Jesus will come, the day that all of humanity that's ever lived since the beginning of time, the day that all of humanity will be assembled together for judgment before the Lord. And all of humanity will be divided into two different groups, kind of like the way a farmer would separate his sheep from the goats with the sheep on one hand and the goats on the other. All of humanity will be placed into one of two groups. There won't be a third group or a fourth or a fifth, only two. And nobody will be straddling the fence between the two groups. We will all be placed squarely in one of the two groups. I want to be in the smaller group, the smaller group that's going to hear Jesus say, well done, good and faithful servants, enter into the joy of your master, Matthew 25, 21. I don't want to be in the other group, the larger group, that's going to hear Jesus say, depart from me, I never knew you, Matthew 7, 23. And the only day that I have to influence Judgment Day is this day. I, I can't live in the past. I can't try to live for tomorrow. All I have is today. All I can do to influence my eternal destiny is what I can do today. When we get to judgment day, our eternal destiny will be set. There will be no changing it, no altering it, no influencing it. The only day I have to get ready for that day is this day. So that makes that day the most important of all. Judgment day is the most important day of all. And today is the day that I have to get ready for that day. What do you need to do to get ready for that day? What better time than right here at the beginning of a new year to get ready for Judgment Day? What better time than today? Make a commitment to the Lord today. Repent of the sin in your life. Confess your faith in Jesus Christ and put him on in baptism. Arise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on the name of the Lord. Acts 22, 16. If you've made a commitment to the Lord in baptism in the past, but you've strayed away from that commitment, recommit today. Acknowledge your sins as a Christian. Ask for forgiveness. Repent of those sins and rededicate your life to living for the Lord. Rededicate your life and commit to living for him in 2021. What do you need to do this day to get ready for that day? Let's pray together. Our Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for this country and all the blessings of this country. As we watch the news and, and grow disgusted at the actions of so many of our political leaders, we pray you'd help us to remain grateful that despite all our problems, we're still the most blessed nation on the earth and we're still the most free nation on the earth. We just pray, Father, for our rulers, all of our leaders, from the top down, we pray for every one of them, that they will govern and rule in such a way that our freedoms will always be ensured, that we can lead peaceful, peaceful and quiet lives, dignified and godly, that we can be free to practice our faith openly, and free to share our faith with others because we know that you desire all to come to a knowledge of the truth and to be saved. May we be able to participate unfettered in the sharing of the gospel. Bless our leaders that they would lead in such a way that we would have that peace and freedom. Father, we pray for all of those on our prayer list here at Pineful who need our prayers. For everyone out there watching and listening, on YouTube, Facebook, whatever means, we pray that you would read their thoughts, read everyone's hearts, listen to the Holy Spirit as he strives to 
intercede for us in prayer and know what our prayers and thoughts and intents of our hearts are. And we pray, Father, you'd hear every one of those prayers and answer them, Father. And may your will be done in all things. Father, thank you for the opportunities of this day. Help us to grasp hold of the opportunities of this day and take full advantage of the time and opportunity we have to get ready for Judgment Day. Thank you for wanting us to be saved, enough to sacrifice your own son. Thank you for him and his willingness to come and pay that ultimate price. We pray, Father, that you would help us to know the truth and to obey it so that we can be saved. Thank you for the hope of heaven after Judgment Day. In Jesus' name we pray and we praise you. Amen. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. 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 Say, 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 say.